didn't really know about professional gaming until the International of Dota, which was, I don't know, nine years ago or something. And I always fancied myself like good enough to be professional, but I just had no clue what was going on and how to get involved until Fortnite came along. I just started playing the game and fell in love with it. And then I saw all these streamers and I was like, I think I could probably do that. And just kind of like talk to my friends about it. I'm like, yeah, might as well just do it. If you're gonna be playing the game all day anyway, just like put yourself out there. And I think six months went by, I slowly, slowly grinded and I finally got invited to a tournament. And from there, I just started doing pretty well and then FaZe picked me up and then it just kind of skyrocketed from there. When I first moved back up here to Jersey City, I was primarily doing it for modeling. So it sustained this kind of side goal of mine, which was to be a professional gamer and gave me the money and time needed to pursue it. The transition was kind of strange coming from modeling to gaming because like nobody understands how to make money in gaming. Like my parents and stuff, they had no clue what was happening or that I could, I could even be successful and make it a real, real job. So it was, it was definitely strange in that aspect, but in the same way, it's, it was really good to have that modeling background because I had a lot of life experience, a lot of uh, adversity in that. And also I've been in front of a camera for seven years. So in the streaming aspect, I, I know how to like interact, you know. It's been pretty amazing being in phase. Like I'm a huge fan of them and it's, it's just cool to be a part of the brand. And it is cool to be a part of the family because I know I don't get to see them too much, most of them, because I'm East Coast, most of them are West Coast. But when we do get together, it's all, it's all love. So it's been great. So we were driving home from Jersey City to where I was born in uh, Oddsville, Pennsylvania. It was quiet growing up here. It was humble. Like, you're growing up, like, kind of far away from everything. Like, the closest convenience store is, like, 10 minutes drive. So it's very different from the city life that we live in now. As kids, we would usually just meet up, uh, play basketball, play football or hockey, whatever the season is. Since there wasn't as many kids to hang around with, like, at any given moment, it's either we're all going to go play sports or we're all gonna sit inside and play video games together, basically. All right, this is us on the left. It's my little house. I usually go in that door, because that's where we hung out mostly. Say hi to the camera, mama. Stay out? No, say hi. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said stay out. Okay. Welcome home. Thank you. Belated birthday. Mm -hmm. Good to hug me. Hey, honey. When Nate puts his mind to something, he masters it. He played all kinds of sports. Football was the main thing, but then he just decided he liked golf. So May before his junior year, he started playing on his own. And he played every day, every single day. So played all summer, tried out for the team, made varsity his first year. So he had an amazing junior year on varsity, but um, I was the guidance counselor at the school doing a presentation. And Mr. Friedman had the kids fill out little blocks of paper, like, what do you want to do when you grow up? Because I was coming to give a college presentation. And at the end of the class, I said to Mr. Freeman, which one's Nate's? So I started looking through and on it, it said the three things he wanted to do was an actor, a film director, or a doctor. And I came home that night and I was like, you want to be an actor? Like, I never knew you wanted to be an actor. And he goes, well, yeah, it's something I think I'd want to do. Yeah, you know, it's been many, many years. I think it's been almost 10 years um, since I've touched base with Nate. Um, he took my course. I think it was world literature. When he was a student, he was actually a quieter kid, um, but just gentlemanly, um, really uh, academically did wonderfully. Um, but you know, there was something about Nate that I, I knew he was in the arts. 
It wasn't necessarily his writing, it wasn't necessarily his doodling, it was just a combination of just getting to know Nate and to know that he was arts-minded and that he was gonna just do something sort of outside the box. Um, and I'm so proud that he has. So I said to him, we could go get some acting classes and from there, the lady that runs the, the place said, oh no, he should be a model. And like we were like, what? Um, so she entered him into a contest and that's when the golf and modeling thing started to overlap. So his senior year, he was learning how to model. He hadn't started modeling, but um, thinking that there might be a future in this, he took classes at college so that he could graduate early. So he went to this competition in California and he won and that just skyrocketed him towards modeling. So the modeling overtook the golf, but he still loves to do it. It's a passion of his on the side. Aside from the golf potential, I always was gonna do something creative. Like even back when I was in high school, I remember I wanted to be like an actor or professional poker player or some kind of something where I don't have to sit and do schoolwork type kind of stuff. Anything just that I can do and like control my path with my talent or whatever. I think it was like after the Ninja Chicago tournament, I, I really was like, I'm gonna do this all in full time. And I think I told him that. And my mom was like, why don't you just get a regular job like acting and singing? And I was like, how is that a regular job? It's weird how she would think that that's more viable than professional gaming. But I don't know, I've always had weird careers. So I feel like they kind of believed in me right away anyway, so. Good, dude. I've known Nate for well over 10 years. We met at school, sixth grade uh, orientation for middle school, and um, yeah, we've been friends ever since. Actually, like N64, we nerded out on that like crazy. Like Super Smash Brothers, we put in well over a thousand hours, just went at it. He's fiery and competitive, but really laid back and loves to joke around, has a good time. We're always laughing, making jokes, making fun of anything. I don't see him as much, but I mean, that's cool. He's doing what he loves. I'm doing what I love. I mean, like every time I see him, it's still like we see each other every day. He's still same old Nate. Actually, first time driving in Philly. I never used to really come up here. Where I'm from is like cows and farms and trees and stuff, so <laughs> it's night and day. But it's kind of good to have that contrast where you have like a nice city to come to and then you drive 45 minutes back home to trees and, and nature and stuff. I never, never in a million years did I think I was gonna buy a house by 25, especially like a really nice one too. Homey and like has good character and stuff, but here I am and I'm super lucky to be here. This last year has been pretty crazy to say the least. I've pretty much achieved probably one of my biggest goals of since I was young, which is like become a professional something. And I feel like games were always the number one thing I really, really like to do. So having been able to achieve that and create this, 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 this like family, this, this fandom, join a family like FaZe Clan and have all this like adoration and, and notoriety has been amazing. It's, def it's been inarguably the best year of my life. I was very lucky to find a house the second time ever looking in Philly. For places yeah i just i stepped in and like immediately it, it just spoke to me and i was like i have to have this but then well, i was in a bidding war right and 
I didn't really know how buying houses worked, but I, I just offered list price. I thought, if I do that, I'm gonna be fine, I'm gonna get it. But then my mom comes back to me, he's like, well, some people are offering cash. So I was like, I already thought I was gonna get it in my head. I was so excited. I was talking to my stream about it, like how perfect this house was for me. This guy had like Harry Potter stuff. I got Harry Potter tattoos, I'm super into it. Um, and he, he was randomly watching my stream one day and that kind of swayed his decision to allowing me to get the house over the other offers. So another awesome thing about streaming is you get to, you get to put your personality out there and, and people respond to it. With this new move and new home and having my brothers there to kind of like bounce ideas off of and help with stuff, whether it's videoing or just stuff around the house, it's it's gonna be a whole new, I guess, adventure or chapter in, in my life. Um, I, I see a lot of potential here in in filming, say, YouTube vids like skits or comedy shorts or just something different, man. Like I've seen so much stuff by um, famous people that I, I just, I don't get behind. And I wanna put out stuff that I really respect and feel really good about doing, which, it means a lot to me and I think with the new place and like just like an overall happy vibe it's it, I'll be more inspired just all around this is a nice ride it's smooth is that a spot right there Here we are, the humble abode, my new place. Let's go check it. Actually, I can't show you yet because we just moved in on Monday and there's a lot of furnishing to be done and there's cardboard boxes everywhere. So I think I'll do a house reveal on maybe early April when I get all the stuff in. It's all finished and nice. Hope to see you then, but until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.